Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be continuing with part two of the Red Heart Amigurami Mermaid. I'm so excited to have you join me today. And before we begin, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload my new videos. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So we're still using the same uh, kind of yarn. Um, and so just like, you know, magic circle. And chain one and then six single crochets like normal into the ring. Pretty much everything, in case you haven't noticed, is starts with a magic circle and six single crochets into the ring. <laughs> Makes it easy to remember your first step for every piece, basically. Alright, six. Place your oops. You should find out where you're at. Okay, place your stitch marker in that last stitch, of course. I would recommend doing that before you tighten the circle because otherwise it gets a little hairy. Okay, let me just get my counter all up here. Okay, and we are still working in continuous rounds. So I'm going to find that first single crochet, and I'm going to do two single crochets in each of the stitches around. And I'm going to take and sew in that center end as I as I work around. So by the end of this row you should have 12 stitches. Take that stitch marker out, just tug on that center string one more time, Oop, and then put two single crochets into that last stitch. Now for the next few rows we are going to uh, be doing increase rows. So after we do those two stitches of course and put our thing back, uh, we are going to do for row three one single crochet into the next stitch and then two in the st stitch after that. So we're doing a just a gradual increase. So that's one. Next stitch put two single crochets. Whoops. And you want to have 18 uh, stitches by the end of the round.
So for row four, we are going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches. Then in the third stitch, we're going to do a, two single crochets. Okay, so one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the same stitch. So for row five, we are putting one single crochet in the next three stitches. Then in the fourth stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. And by the end of row five, you should have uh, 30 stitches. So now we are moving on to row six. Row six is our last increase row. And so we are going to put one single crochet into the next four stitches and then put two single crochets into that fifth stitch. By the end of row six, you should have 36 stitches. So for rows 7 through 12, you just put one single crochet in each of the stitches around. So you can go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and do uh, rows 7 through 12 and then we'll meet back at the beginning of row 13. So for row 13, we are going to start our decrease row. So you want to single crochet into the next four stitches. So I already, just kidding. Um, so there's one, two, three, and four. And then you want to do a single crochet decrease. And then start again from the beginning.
Okay, so when you are done with row 13, you should have 30 stitches. Moving on to row 14, we are going to put one single crochet in the first three stitches and then do another decrease. Two and three, and then go ahead and do a decrease stitch. And by the end of row 14, you should have 24 stitches this time. Alright, so now that we have finished row 14, uh, this is the part where we add our eyes. Now, in my uh, last Red Heart Amigurami tutorial, um, then I just used these little wiggly eyes. Um, but I had, after that video, I had went online and had found these little 6 millimeter um, safety eyes. And so I wanted to uh, use these today. So here is the website um, that you can find them on. I can, I actually uh, bought them on eBay. So if you uh, are interested in finding the listing on eBay for these, uh, just leave a comment below and then I'll post that link for you. Um, so the one that I bought was actually like a variety pack. So it has different colors in there. I, uh, just to go with my theme here, I'm going to select blue ones, Oops. and these are actually six millimeters, so these are the perfect size. But it's cool because then if you make more of these or you have other projects that are small like this and require small eyes, then you already have everything. Okay, so according to the instructions then, we are going to put these between row eight and row nine. So we are going to count back about five rows. So I'm going to uh, start with where my stitch marker is. And so this is, whoops, this is row one, so Okay, to one, two, three, four, and five. So I wanna put it in that little hole right there. So I'm going to insert that eye like that. Okay, and let me just triple check my numbers here just to make sure here. Okay, and then these ones are really nice uh, because then you can just put this backing on and put it on there as tight as you can possibly get it and, uh, and it's not going anywhere. All right, so that is the first eye. And so now the second eye needs to be put about eight stitches apart but in the same row. So I'm going to go over about eight. So let's see there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So right there is where I need to, I believe, put my eye. And since I'm over here, I'm just going to triple check to uh, make sure that is also the same row. Yep, so that is about the same row. 
And so just like with the other pattern, it seems like they're going to be far apart, but that's because we haven't added everything else. So, so you just want to go ahead and add that backing or finish uh, gluing. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, finish um, putting those eyes on. And then we can see that no matter what, these eyes aren't coming out. So now we are going to move on to row 15. And at the end of row 15, we are actually going to go ahead and stuff that as well. So, but until we get to that part, we want to single crochet in the first two stitches. And then do another decrease. So on every third stitch, you are going to decrease. Okay, so now that you have finished row 15, then you should have a total of 18 stitches. And now we're going to go ahead and add some of that fiber fill into the head section. You just want to make sure that you leave a long enough uh, little loop so that you don't accidentally pull the loop out. Oh, I got a little cat friend again it seems like so and again you do not want to stretch any of the stitches when you do this part So now we are going to continue to row 16 and this is the last row for the head portion. So we are going to continue with a slight decrease and we're going to just put one single crochet and then we are going to decrease and we're going to do that all the way around. So one single crochet and then decrease. You can like take your um, your other hand that holds the yarn and you can actually push the fiber fill down so that you can crochet into those stitches because otherwise uh, the fiber fill can get in the way. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is the uh, last row. So we just need to leave ourselves a long tail to sew this onto the body later. All right, so now we are going to move on to the wig base. And for this, we are going to choose the color of yarn that we are going to use for the hair of our mermaid. So I am choosing to use the red that's provided. And so for the wig base, you need to start with an adjustable ring. Okay. 
and then you need to work eight half double crochets into the ring so that's one Oops. And just as a little reminder, to do a half double crochet, you yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you pull through three loops. So then we are going to take and close our ring. As tight as we can. And then for this uh, particular piece, we are not going to do it in a spiral. Uh, we are going to actually do rows. So you want to go ahead and slip stitch into that first half double crochet. And then take your tail and pull that tight. Okay. So now for row two, we are going to chain one, and that one does not count as a stitch, and we're going to put two half double crochets in every stitch around. And I am going ahead and sewing in the end in the center as I go along so that I don't have to sew it in later. So you should have a total of 16 half double crochets in that second round. And then we are going to go ahead and uh, slip stitch into that first half double crochet to complete that round. So for no, I'm sorry, for row number three, we are going to chain one and then place one half double crochet into that first stitch and then two half double crochets into that second stitch and repeat that all the way around When you are done with row three, you're just going to once again slip stitch into that first stitch, as so. And then for row four, you're just going to continue uh, to do the increase. So you're going to chain one. This time we are going to put one half double crochet into the first two stitches and then double it up on that last or on the third stitch rather. So this is the third stitch so I'm going to put two in there and you want to do that once again all the way around. Okay. 
and just make sure that you're doing half double crochets. I know we have done single crochets so far that this entire project and so it's so easy to get confused and to do single crochets. Uh, so just every so often just triple check and make sure that you are doing the half double crochets. Okay, and then slip stitch into that first one. For row five, we are going to chain one and then we are going to do one half double crochet in every stitch around. Okay, so for the last two rows of the wig base, for rows six and seven, we are going to chain one, and then we are going to put one single crochet, so we're back to single crochets in each stitch around. So if you would like to go ahead and pause the video and then come on back um, when you have finished the wig base. Now we are not going to do the actual hair in this video uh, because that is the very last thing that we do uh, according to the instructions. So that is probably, we're probably going to do the hair before we attach it to the head after the entire body is assembled. I'm like seriously so excited guys about this project, like it looks so cute already and it's just in pieces and parts. Then just slip stitch to that first stitch and then leave a long tail to we or to sew on and that is the wig base or the wig cap. 